All right, first thing you have to learn how to do uh, in this trig unit is to work with right triangles and be able to label the sides from the point of view of one of the x, one of the smaller, one of the acute angles in the triangle. So let's say we have a triangle that looks something like this. Okay, so here's our right triangle. Let's maybe get rid of the grid temporarily. There's our right triangle. Let's even draw in the right angle here. If you're trying to uh, label the sides of this, let's think about what point of view. You're going you're gonna to look at the triangle from the point of view of one of the acute angles. There's one of the acute angles, and there's the other acute angle. So let's say we're looking at it from this point of view up here, or for down here, this angle down here. If we're looking at it from that angle, uh, the three sides have different names. Now one of the names is going to not matter what angle you're looking at it from, and that is this side here, the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, let's just call this H here. That side, the longest side across from the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. From this angle though, the other two sides in the past, maybe you just thought of them as the shorter sides or the legs or A and B or something, we're going to look at them and give them specific names relative to where we're looking from. We're looking from this angle. If we're looking at the one that's all the way on the other side of the triangle, it's opposite from the angle. So we're going to call it the opposite side. Actually, let's do let's do three letters here. So we don't get our O mixed up with, let's call that hype. Let's call this op. And then we have the third side here. The third side is next to the angle. It's part of the angle, right? It's This side is part of what makes up that angle. Since it's next to the angle and not opposite, it's called the adjacent. Adjacent's another word for next to or beside. Okay, so we got those three sides of that triangle from relative to that angle. Now, if we were looking at it from the point of view of this angle up here, think about what changes and what doesn't change. All right, now let's get rid of that. And let's think about this. Does this change? This is still the longest side. It's still across in the right angle. So this is still the hypotenuse, even when you look at it from the other angle. But the other two sides, before this was the opposite, and this was the adjacent, but now when you're looking at it from this point of view, that's across, right? This is the opposite side, right? If you look at it from the point of view of the other angle, the opposite and adjacent switch, if you want to think of it that way, right? Now let's draw one more triangle here, because no matter how the triangle is oriented, you have to be able to view the triangle properly. Let's get our grid back for a second. So let's say we had a triangle that was, let me try and draw something that looks remotely like a right triangle here. Um, hard to tell on my screen, but let's say, let's hope that that looks sort of like a right triangle. All right. Let's hope that looks like a right triangle and uh, and that's the right angle up there. If you're looking at this triangle, say from this angle, and you're going to label the triangle, there's the there's the right angle. That's across from the right angle. This is the hypotenuse, right? Always start by labeling the hypotenuse, and then next look from the angle you're looking at, and figure out where the opposite side is, and then that leftover side, the one beside it that's not the hypotenuse is called the adjacent. And then as we said before, if you switch which angle, so instead of this angle, now we're looking at the triangle from this point of view, we have to do this. We have to take this and we have to do this, right? Because those two things are going to switch. When you look at it from the point of view of the other angle, this stays in the same place, but these other two things switch because that's the opposite side. All right, that's labeling sides and triangles, first thing you need to know.